It's the night before election day in the US and Donald Trump has said he wants the star brawlers of the UFC to fight migrants. The deranged former president told a rally in Pittsburgh that he told UFC boss Dana White that he should set up a special league for migrants to fight before making the champion fight the winning migrant in the ring. Trump said, I told the UFC's Dana White. You ought to set up your league of champions, unbelievable best fighters in the world, and a migrant league. At the end I want the migrant to go against the champion and I think the migrant might actually win, that's how nasty some of these guys are. He didn't stop there, as within the same speech, he expressed a desire for the Penn State wrestling team to take on the migrants as well, those Penn State guys, I wanted them to wrestle the migrants, he added. This comes after an earlier statement Trump made back in June, reported by the Mirror US, in which he reiterated his idea to a Washington crowd about building a so-called Migrant League of Fighters. He recounted his previous exchange with UFC President Dana White, saying, I said, Dana, I have an idea, why don't you set up a Migrant League of Fighters and have your regular League of Fighters? And then you have the champion of your league, these are the greatest fighters in the world, fight the champion of the migrants. I think the migrants guy might win, that's how tough they are. Trump repeated his previous remarks about migrants resembling UFC fighters in a speech on Monday, echoing sentiments he expressed in June. Dana White, the staunch ally and long-time friend of Trump, didn't hold back. At a recent Madison Square Garden rally in New York City, saying, President Trump and I have been friends for over 25 years. I've said this before and am gonna say it again. He is the most resilient, hardest working human being that I have ever met in my life. He lauded Trump's economic achievements, adding, I know he's a great leader, this is not my opinion. Not my hope, he's proven he can build the strongest economy in American history. The opposition, however, slammed Trump's demeaning words toward immigrants. Joe Biden's campaign in June swiftly condemned Trump's remarks, with spokesperson Serafina Chittica, stating, fitting that convicted felon Donald Trump, spent his time at a religious conference threatening to round up Latinos, bragging about ripping away Americans' freedoms, and promising to be even more extreme if he regains power. Chittica criticized the former president's erratic speech, adding Trump's incoherent, unhinged. Tirade showed voters in his own words that he is a threat to our freedoms and is too dangerous to be let anywhere near the White House again. Meanwhile, crucial campaign efforts unfolded in Pennsylvania on Monday, with Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris both vying for the state's pivotal electoral influence. 